Hello, and thank you for coming to my meeting. This is the proposal for Keurig Dr. Pepper and how to make it a stronger company. So one of Dr. Pepper's main strengths, I believe, is over their 21 brands and flavors that anyone can choose from. These brands are widely known, like 7-Up, Dr. Pepper, RC, and also Sunkiss. So the main problem that I see for Keurig Dr. Pepper after the six months of the merge is that some of our allied brands are breaking their contracts and leaving the company altogether. Allied brands are brands from Dr. Pepper that we distribute through our distribution centers that are not part of our company. These brands contain 18% of our revenue. So an example would be Fiji Waters. Fiji Waters is a brand that broke their contract and did not like the new one that we presented after the merge. The Fiji Waters is a huge brand and covers about 2% of the 18% revenue. So without Fiji Waters, our revenue decreased to 16%. My solution that I propose would that Keurig and Dr. Pepper would have two separate contracts. This means that Dr. Pepper would have one contract and Keurig would have another. This would satisfy our old customers of our allied brands and also allow new brands to come in and pick whatever contract they prefer. Some of the old brands would still be happy and also allow new ones to join. So a counter thought would be that we are one company and we should only have one contract. But this has already been happening for the six months that Keurig Dr. Pepper has been merged together and we need to fix it. A current, the current thought is that we are now losing revenue and we need a new strategy going forward so we don't lose our live brands. So, why they would also say why would we fix something that is broken because if it's broken it obviously cannot be moved forward into the future so our budget and timeline so my budget would be one million dollars and the timeline would be for one year so it's important to know that the budget of one million dollars would be for the entire year the budget would be for salaries it would also be for distribution um, to use the distribution centers and also to contract any money that would happen in the agreement. So our timeline, like I said, is for one year. And this would, if you look at my timeline, we would create a new contract starting March 1st, and then three months later we would implement that new contract. This one year would be like a trial basis where we would have check-ins. So starting September 1st, we'd have our first check-in, and December 1st, we would have our second check-in and then our decision would be on March 1st of 2020. This decision can be based on if we want new contracts altogether or if we just want to scratch the solution and go with a different one. So in conclusion, I say we need two contracts to fix this, fix this underlying problem that we will need to stop our line brands from leaving. This would also, I believe, would increase our revenue to allow two contracts so we can choose which one they would prefer. This would also strengthen the loss, the not loss of revenue and also make our live brands happy. So thank you for listening. Have a good day.